Hello everyone, this is Acacia, your friendly library and media specialist, here to give you a few tips about copyright, fair use, and creative commons to start the school year. Copyrighted materials are those things that creators receive payment for when you use them. For example, images, music, and book downloads. Fair use is how we can use some of those copyrighted materials without paying. When you utilize copyrighted materials, such as sports images, logos, and brands for instructional purposes, you're able to do so without paying. Simply add these to your Brightspace classroom, where only your students or users you grant permissions to can access the materials. You can also use these in your presentations. Just remember to cite the sources from where you receive them. Still a little confused about fair use? That's okay. Um, I have embedded an infographic that gives you more details. When in presentation mode, if you click on the image, you'll be able to see it a little bit more zoomed in. Creative Commons is a nonprofit organization where creators can get free licenses for their work. CreativeCommons.org is a great place to find images and other media to use in both your personal projects as well as your student projects. Students can even get licenses for some of the work they are doing. Think about those awesome art projects they create in Digital Palette. They can get a license for that work, such as a share alike, and see how their creation is transformed by others. Now, I know that many of you utilize Google Images instead to find um, images for instruction, and that's okay. If you do a Google Image search, then you're going to click on the Tools icon, and then there is a drop down for usage rights. Click on those Creative Commons licenses images, and you will get images that have those Creative Commons licenses. This is just another alternative if you don't like to go directly to the website or you forget to do so. So some tips when planning. The biggest one is remember to cite those sources. When you grab an image, media, or a quote from somewhere else, you can simply copy and paste the hyperlink to the place where you got it to give it credit. This is good practice and good modeling for our students. Some things also to remember is that anybody can be published. This is good, but it can also mean that you need to do your due diligence and checking for the accuracy of work. When you're able, I suggest using Creative Commons. It'll save you a lot of guesswork in the end. There are some additional resources linked to help you with general questions you may have. I really like this one, um, the Copyright and Fair Use Guide for Teachers, because it breaks down the rules for copywriting entire poems, essays, using artists' images, and the use of movies and music in creative projects. So I know that was a lot of information quickly. I just ask that you take a moment to complete the teacher feedback survey so that I know where to go from here. Perhaps you have some more specific questions or you would like me to teach a mini lesson to your students. I'm willing to do any of that, just please indicate that in the survey. Please feel free to reach out to me with any questions via email or you can stop by and visit me in the library. Have a wonderful start to the school week.